So the Vincent O'Brien County Hurdle is next then. Another big field for this one. Uh, two miles and one foot on this time, so they should go lickety split this time. It's a 0 to 140, and the top one is Indy Old Goat, Carla Regante. Samoa Sunrise, Molly at Surface, Wrap Me Up. Derek Hinton, Alberino Central, Darren Thompson, River Scythers is also Darren Thompson. Orange Goes Red, Molly at Surfer, Frantic Eskimo, David Robertson, Candy Apple Grey, Martin Leedham Spring Collection, Kevin Meadahan, Love Embrace, Stu Gray, A Pink Day, Alex Cherry, Candid Dude, and Nacho, Daniel French, Party Doctor, Stu Gray, Lobby and Carla Regante, Japanese Gin, Doug Warren, De Paler, James Follis, Meadow Court, Kevin Meadahan, Burger, James Follis, Excellent, He's a Rarity, Doug Warren, Something Royal, Look there, Something Royal, Leon Van Rensburg, Quick Gold, and Prince Darren Howes and paperwork OB1 so 24 this time then and it looks like we might be getting a little bit of sunshine maybe still a few clouds but it looks a bit brighter some shadows and away we go and frantic Eskimo in the yellow jacket looks pretty keen to lead being driven by the jockey to get over towards the inside and towards the first of the eight flights jumps it okay it's away from it well they're all safely over the first and you're not really going to want to be stuck wide in this i wouldn't have thought all too far back because with a big field over only two miles you're going to have to do plenty of work to get into this from the back and frantic eskimo is not going to be worrying about such things because that one's going to lead and they come down the straight now then this will be the final flight on the next circuit Frantic Eskimo lands in front with Alberino Central just at the back. So racing away from us, then they'll swing left handed just before that stand. And Frantic Eskimo cuts right across to the inside. And weren't well, too many caught that wide, but they are pretty well strung out already with 20 odd lengths between first and last. And it's going to be very difficult for Samoa Sunrise and Alberino Central to win from there I would have thought so Frantic Eskimo is in front a pink day second De Painter is third then Burger is four with Lobby and five and Indy Old Gate six and then Riverside and Orange Goes Red and then Spring Collections after that one and then Love Embrace on the inside with the Grey X let he's a rarity after that as they take flight number three and uh, they're all safely over that one including Samoa Sunrise who is the back marker but Frantic Eskimo is not hanging about and he's setting a frantic pace for uh, to De Painter in second then a pink day on the inside of that one as they take number four. Feel well strung out and Frantic Eskimo continues to lead from a pink day second. Over flight number five they go. They're all hurdling well. Good, quick, fast jumps. And Frantic Eskimo is in front. A pink day is second. De Painter is third. Lobby in his four. Burger on the inside is five. Then Indy Old Gate River Silas is after that one. And Orange goes. Red's got the inside as well. Love Embrace switching to the outside. A small gap then to Candy Apple Grey, the first grey in the race. Nocho Party Doctor and Candid Dude on the outside as they take the sixth. That's already the third last. Trying to make some ground around the outside is paperwork, but Frantic Eskimo appears to be going easily in the lead. From a pink day and De Pela, then Lobby in his back in fourth. After that one, River Scythers and then Burger. Indy Old Gate and Love Embrace. After that, Candy Apple Grey's got the inside. Then after them comes Orange Goes Red. And towards the back, quick gold and excellent heat of rarity have now dropped to the back and they appear beaten. They've only got five furlongs to go. And Frantic Eskimo is the leader from a pink day in second. Lobby in third, De Paler four, Burger five. Then Orange goes red, River Scythers. Candy Apple Ground for that one, then Love Embrace. It might be between these already. They're clear of Nocho and Candy Dude as they take the second last. And Frantic Eskimo is going on again. He's clear as they take that one. And you can see the back markers all get over it okay. They race away from us. It's Frantic Eskimo in the lead by three. Three, two lobbying in second. A pink day is back in third. Then comes Meadow Court and Nachos now making some full room. And here comes the grey candy apple grand moving into fourth. But Frantic Eskimo has slipped the field, it would seem here. Frantic Eskimo racing down towards the final flight. Two furlongs to race and Frantic Eskimo is six clear and looks to be going further clear. Racing down towards this final flight. Frantic Eskimo looks like all he's got to do is jump it. Frantic Eskimo comes to the final flight, skips over it well. Second is lobbying. Candy apple grey is third. Then a pink day and he's a strung out like washing. It's almost like a selling plate rather than a Race at the Cheltenham Festival. Frantic Eskimo has put these to the sword. Lobbying is trying to close, getting closer with every stride, but I think Frantic Eskimo has got enough to hold him up towards one. Frantic Eskimo is going to take it. Lobby in second, Candy Apple Grow third, then Nacho fourth, and a pink day next. And I feel we'll try all the way back to excellent things of rarity, but didn't turn into much of a race that one. Frantic Eskimo turned it into a procession. It was almost like a carnival parade, wasn't it? As Frantic Eskimo 
head from pillar to post. I think the closest anybody got to him was lobbying at the end. So a good win there for David Robertson, I think. We'll take a look at the card. Francis Eskimo for David Robertson, a comfortable winner. Lobby in second for Carl Aragante. Candy Apple Gray was third for Martin Lidham. Nocho fourth for Daniel French. A pink day fifth for Alex Cherry. In truth, most of those never got into the race at all, and that's got to be the easiest win we've seen so far this week.